systems of linear equations. Dito po, teachers, ay wala po tayong calc Wala po tayong calculator techniques. So, balikan po natin ang ating nakaraang video for linear equations. The simultaneous linear equations. Solving for the common solution. So, ano nga po ba ang linear equations? Ito po yung equations na wala po nakalagay na exponents sa ating variables. Although ang nakalagay po dito ay with the highest power of the variable na 1. It is because automatic po na kapag walang exponent, 1 po yung exponent nun. Kaya kapag tinignan po natin ang linear equations, wala na po tayo makikita exponent. So, yung equations na wala pong exponent ay linear equation na ang graph po ay straight line. So, yun po yun. Then, what are the three systems or three types of systems of linear equations? The first one is dependent system. It has infinitely many solutions. Bakit nga po ba madami siyang solutions? Infinitely. It is because the graphs of the equations represent the same lines. So, paano po yun nangyayari? Madami pong equations, pero iisang line lang po ang kanilang graph. Dahil po, nagkaapatong-patong po yung equations. Na ang bottom line po nila ay iisang line lang po pala. Kaya, dependent system. Dahil madami po solutions. And the next one, independent naman po. Nagmimet lang po sila sa isang point, which is the exactly one solution. And the graph is intersecting lines. So, yung one solution po yun, yun po yung point of intersection. Yun po yung sinob natin sa nakaraang video natin sa linear equations. So, Coincident lines, same lines, dependent. Intersecting lines, independent with one solution. The rest, the last, inconsistent system has no solution dahil hindi naman po sila nag intersect Meron po silang constant gap, kaya parallel lines. Wala po silang relationship sa isa't isa. Wala po silang label, Charis. So, those are the three, dependent, independent, and inconsistent. How about this graph? The first one, intersecting. So, this is independent. Very good. The second, parallel. Walang label. Yes. Yes po, inconsistent. And the last, same line dependent. Okay? Ready na po sa ating problems. The first one, if the pair of linear equation is coincident, coincident, then the type of system is inconsistent. Is it true or false? Coincident has many solutions. Therefore, it is dependent. Therefore, the answer is false. Next, if a pair of linear equation is inconsistent, then their graph lines will be inconsistent. Walang solution parallel. Very good. Next, if a pair of linear equation is consistent, ang napag-usapan lang po natin kanina ay coincident, intersecting no solution. So, ano po ang ibig sabihin ng consistent? Ang ibig sabihin po ng consistent ay merong solution. So, kapag merong solution, consistent po iyon. So, alin po ang may solution sa ating tatlong system? It is dependent and independent. Ano naman po yung graph nun? 
ang dependent ay coincident at ang independent naman ay intersecting line. So, the answer is letter C. Okay? Next, the pair of equations x equals a and y equals b represents lines which are x equals a and y equals b are x and y intersect. So, ano po ang ibig sabihin nito? Si x intercept, ito po yung point where the line crosses at x axis. Therefore, itong x equals a ay vertical line na magkakross sa x axis at a units. Here. At A units, nag-cross po ang ating vertical line which is X equals A. Ito namang Y equals B at B units at Y nag-cross po ang ating horizontal line which is the Y equals B. Therefore, mag intersect po sila at this point A which is our X coordinate and B which is our Y coordinate. Okay, so the answer is letter C. Okay, next. The graphic representation of the equations x plus 2y is equal to 3 and 2x plus 4y plus 7 is equal to 0 gives a pair of blank. Kapag ganito po, hindi na po natin kailangan mag-plot, mag-graph kasi medyo matagal. Alam naman na po natin na ang let ay time-bounded. So, dito na lang po tayo sa conditions. May condition din po kasi yan. Itong A1 over A2 is equal to B1 over B2, C1 over C2. This condition is for alin po? is for coincident kasi pareho lang po yung line kaya magkakapareho po yung mga mga ano po mga numerical value kasi iisang line po sila so this is for coincident line so let's try kung masasatisfy po ba natin ito so a1 is the coefficient of x for equation 1. So, let's recall the standard form, which is equal to ax plus by is equal to c. Equal to c, but this one must be negative 7, okay? So, a1 over a2. a1 is 1. a2 is 2. b1 is 2. b2 is 4. So, 1 half is equal to 1 half. Lowest term is 1 half. And... 3, negative 7. But, 1 half is not equal to 3, negative 7. Therefore, this is not coincident line. Kapag ganito po, it is parallel lines. Tandaan po, A1 over A2 is equal to B1 over B2 is also equal to C1 over C2 is good for coincident lines. This A1 over A2 is equal to B1 over B2, but not equal to C1 over C2 is for parallel lines. Very good. Next question. For what value of K will the pair of equations x plus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0? And 2x plus ky plus 14 is equal to 0 represent coincident lines. Therefore, yung panina po na napag-usapan natin, this one ay kailangan po natin masatisfy para makuha po natin si k, right? So, recall, this one, Bakit po naging negative 7 yung kanina? 
na ililipat po natin doon. So, one half, two over k, then, ililipat, negative seven, negative fourteen. So, one half, so, ito po yung manina. Kaya naging negative, negative. So, one half. This one, negative 7, negative 14 is also one half. So, kahit alin po sa dalawa, same naman na one half. So, ito na yung gamitin natin. One half is equal to 2 over k. Therefore, k is equal to 4. So, the answer is C. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you, claiming LPT March 2024. Praying for you, teachers.